Hey everyone, it's Chelsea for the Rough Cuts on Sunday. Just want to say first of all, Happy Father's Day to you all who are celebrating Father's Day today. And the movie I'm going to talk about this week is from 1967 called Mars Needs Women. This movie is crap. It's It sucks. This is one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. Directed by Larry Buchanan, who has brought us such gems as Free White and 21, The Eye Creatures, and Zontar, The Thing from Venus. Schlock, basically. Anyway, this is no exception to that. It's starring Tommy Kirk, who was once on contract with Disney until I think they found out he was gay and they like immediately severed his contract. Well, this came a few years after that contract ended. And so this isn't to be mistaken with um, Pajama Party, in which he also played a Martian. He's a Martian in this. But he also played a Martian in Pajama Party, but somehow I met Funicello and that made everything better. Unfortunately, I don't even think Annette Funicello could have saved this movie. And Yvonne Craig, you know, who was Batgirl and Batman, I think in 19, also 1967 and 1968. She didn't help this movie either. Okay, in Mars, they have some sort of, like, genetic deficiency going on. So it's a hundred men to every one woman. So they come to Earth in order to capture five women for breeding and that will somehow save their planet with just five women. So they go looking for these women to capture and it's just, it's just bad. It sounds as bad as it is. No, it's worse than it sounds. Don't waste your time with this movie. It's garbage. It like, it doesn't even have like any sort of entertainment factor. I think the budget on it was like $20,000. Even that was too much for this, for what they got. It was, it's terrible. This is a terrible, terrible movie. So don't bother watching it. I mean, granted, I think it was made for like drive-in theaters and no one would really be watching at a drive-in, but I mean, it's, it's just bad. It's really, really bad. Just wooden acting, stupid script. I guess the only saving grace it has is that you get to see some of like old school Dallas and I didn't realize that Dallas was dry back then, too. But apparently it is, because they talk about not being able to get a mixed drink in a bar. But just don't waste your time with this movie. Watch something else. Watch something better. Wa even watch Pajama Party if you want to see Tommy Kirk in something that isn't, like, Flubber or Absent Minded Professor or something like that. So I will see you all next week. Hopefully this will record. Until then, bye-bye.